Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building this EMD SD70M demonstrator locomotive here. And these demonstrator locomotives had this special paint scheme, which EMD made a bunch of these and sent out these demonstrator units to various railroads for them to check out and try out and hopefully convince them to buy the locomotive line. But they had this really unique paint scheme so let's get right into it. So we're going to start off on the rear end with red terracotta. And we're going to put three red terracotta across the bottom middle. Then on either side of it, an upside down mangrove stair. Then five red terracotta above it. Come in front of it in the middle and do a three block tall T shape. Put a torch on either side of the second layer. In front of this, do a 5x3 of red terracotta coming out to each side of the tracks. Then, we're going to put three smooth quartz slabs coming up this side gap. Three on this side. And three across this top middle here. Then take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to this middle center block. Under it, we're going to put a sideways dark oak fence gate. And then we're going to open a fence gate above each rail. Then we're going to put two lightning rods here, two here. And on this top middle, we're going to do two oak fence gates and a wither skeleton skull. Then we'll come in front of it. Next, come in front of it on bottom and put a fence gate above each rail. On the next block forward in the middle, a chiseled polished blackstone block, a blackstone brick slab, and a fence gate. Then another chiseled polished blackstone, blackstone brick slab, fence gate, chiseled polished blackstone and blackstone brick slab. Then take out netherite and put one here, here, and here for the wheels. And same thing on this side. Then a fence gate here and here. Then in the gaps between the wheels, we're gonna put two sideways lightning rod on all four of these spaces. Then we'll go through and put a hopper on the side of all six of these wheels. Next, we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each of the hoppers. And then same thing on this side, one on each of these three hoppers. Then we'll take out red terracotta again on the second layer, and we'll come up on the center and do a line right down the middle to the front of this. Then on the side of it here, a full row of dark oak fence gates, and on this side, a full row of dark oak fence gates as well. Then we're going to come in front of this on the bottom and we're going to go three wide with red terracotta on bottom and start bringing that forward and it's going to be 16 blocks long in total. So a three by 16. Then on the side of it we're going to put a full row of upside down mangrove stairs and come to this side and a full row of upside down mangrove stairs on this side as well. Then we'll come up on the second layer and we'll fill the whole top middle three of the spiel tank with red terracotta and bring it all the way up to the front of it. Then we'll do the front truck, so come in front of this on bottom, put a fence gate on each rail. In front of that, we'll do another right wheel on each rail and a chiseled polished blackstone in the middle then a blackstone brick slab, a fence gate, then chiseled polished blackstone, blackstone brick slab, fence gate, then chiseled polished blackstone, blackstone brick slab, then put another right wheel here and here, and same thing on this side. Then a fence gate here and here on the end corners, and then in all four spaces between the wheels we're going to put two sideways lightning rods on all four of the gaps. Then we'll come through and put a hopper on the side of all six of these wheels. Then we'll crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all three hoppers. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. Come over here and crouch. Put a wither skeleton skull on the side of these three hoppers. 
then we'll come on the top middle with red terracotta right here and do a line up the center to the front of this. On this side here, a line of fence gates, but in this corner, put one red terracotta right here. Then on the other side, it's just a full line of dark oak fence gates. Now in front of this, we'll do a five by three of red terracotta coming out to each side. In front of that, a T-shape in the middle and put a torch on either side of the second layer. In front of this on the bottom middle, three mangrove stairs and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. On the next layer, red terracotta in the middle, two upside down mangrove stairs on either side of that. Then up here, three smooth port slabs, then three coming up this side gap, three on this side. Then take a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to this middle second block, under it a fence gate, then open a fence gate above each rail. Then put two lightning rods here, two here. Then up here do two oak fence gates and a wither skeleton skull right there. Next, we're gonna come and stand up here and crouch. And we're gonna put a single stone brick slab on top of all six of these hoppers. Then in the gaps between them, we move one hitbox down and put two slabs on all four of the spaces. Then repeat it for the other truck. So come up here and crouch. Put a single stone brick slab on top of all six of the hoppers again. Then move a hitbox down in the space between and put two slabs in all four of these spaces. Then we're going to put a skeleton skull above the middle wheel and the back wheel. And same thing on this side. Then come up here and crouch and we're going to put a sideways lightning rod here and here and one here and one here. Then we'll come back up front. Put a skeleton skull above the front wheel and the middle wheel on each side. Then crouch again up here. And have a lightning rod here and here. One here and one here. And those are for the brake cylinders. Then on this side where there's this extra block, hang a bell right here. Then behind it on each side, a skeleton skull. Behind that on each side, an inward facing dragon head. Behind that, we're going to do four dark oak fence gates and four on this side. Then behind that, a row of anvils to the end of the fuel tank for the air tank. And same thing over here, a full row of anvils up here. Then we're going to come to the back of the fuel tank here and crouch. And we're going to put a brewing stand on the back of the anvil on each side. Then we're going to come up on this third layer, start at one end with red terracotta, and we're going to go three wide in the middle, and we're going to fill this all in up here with red terracotta, and bring it all the way down to the other end of the locomotive here. Right down to this other end. Then we're going to take out mangrove stairs on the front here. And we're going to come on this third layer up above this lightning rod, do back to back upside down stairs like this, and then copy it exactly across to the other side. Then we'll come to the back truck and we'll come above this lightning rod here, and do back to back upside down mangrove stairs here and copy it across to this side. Then back here, we're going to put a smooth quartz slab on the upper hitbox here and here. Same thing on this side and fill this middle gap with three mangrove slabs and then three on this side. Then we'll come back up front with smooth court slabs and we're going to put one here and here. Copy it on this side and fill this middle gap with three mangrove slabs on either side. Then we'll go back to smooth court slabs again here. And we're going to come above where the skeleton skull is and put a single smooth quartz slab on top here and on this side. 
then one above this last dark oak fence gate on either side. And then we'll move down and come above the fourth anvil in from the back here, and then one on the other side. Then one in front of the stair here and here. Then we'll simply come through and fill all the rest of the gaps in between here with mangrove slabs until it's all filled in here. And then we'll do the same thing on this side, fill all these gaps with mangrove slabs until this side's all filled in. And now the base of the locomotive's done and we'll come up front. Now we'll come on top of the front on the third block in from the end. Put a gray concrete in this corner, then a door, then a light gray concrete, then two gray. Then three light gray here, one here. On the top middle three, three red terracotta. Come behind it on each side, do a gray concrete on bottom and a light gray concrete above it. Then three red terracotta up here and two outward facing black stone brick stairs on either side up here. Then on the bottom of this side behind this, we're going to do five gray shulker boxes and a gray concrete. Above it, we'll do a line of six light gray concrete. Then up here, one light gray, three white concrete. Then a door here, turn this way, and a door going that way. Then on the bottom of this side, we're going to do five gray concrete, and we're going to put two ladders here, one here. Then five light gray concrete above that. Then a light gray on each end and three white concrete in the center. Then on this back corner, put a single red terracotta. Then three cyan stained glass panes. Then across here, two stained glass blocks, red terracotta, two stained glass blocks, and then three stained glass panes on this side. Then put a white stained glass pane here and here for mirrors. On this top outside edge, we're going to put five outward facing mangrove stairs here and five on this side. Then we'll fill in the whole rest of the cab roof in between the stairs, all with red terracotta here. Next, we need to make a banner. So we're going to come into a loom with a red banner and light gray dye and make the bottom half light gray. And then we'll come over here. We're going to crouch and put this banner over the side door to hide it from the side view there. Then we're gonna take out warped buttons and on the side of this white concrete, put three warp buttons. And then same thing on this side, three warp buttons right here. Then come up front and put an item frame on the middle of the nose right here. Then we need to make another banner. We're gonna come into a loom with a white banner and black dye. We're gonna put a horizontal on the top and bottom and then a black border on it. And this represents the EMD logo on the front and we're just gonna come up and put that on this item frame here. Now we're gonna come down behind the cab, put four gray concrete here, four here. Then above it, two layers of four light gray on each side. Then a red terracotta here and here, three across the top. In this middle, put three polished deep slate slabs. On the center, put an anvil and a slab on the upper hip box of either side of it. Then on the outer edge, three iron bars here, three here. On top, do a three by three square of red terracotta. Put a polished deep slate slab in the center and an oak trap door on top and surround that with four iron trap doors. Then we'll come down behind this. We're gonna do three gray concrete on the bottom of each side. Then two rows of three light gray. Then a row of three red terracotta on each side. And on the top of each side, three polished basalt. Up here are three by three of mangrove slabs. Then come behind this on bottom, two gray concrete on each side. Then two columns of three light gray on either side. Up here, we're gonna do this C shape of red terracotta. And in this gap, put a cauldron and surround it on top with mangrove trap doors. Then we're gonna come down on this side only in the corner, put four gray concrete right here. 
Behind it, three gray stained glass panes. Above that, two rows of three light gray stained glass panes. And above that, a single row of red stained glass panes. And actually, we're gonna change this stained glass pane to a gray concrete. Then put a ladder here, two here. Then come over on this side behind the cab and put two ladders like that. Then we'll come down to the rear end. We're gonna come back here on the third block in from the end, three gray concrete in the middle, then two rows of three light gray and two rows of three red terracotta. Then we're gonna come on this side of it only, one block in from this outer edge in front of this, and we're gonna do a line of three gray concrete coming forward on the bottom. Then up here, we'll do two light gray, polish andesite stair, then three light gray above it, and close the jungle trap door here for the brake wheel. Then in front of this, we're gonna do a full line of gray concrete on this bottom, and we're gonna bring it all the way forward to the front. Then we'll come on this side and do the same thing and do a full line of gray concrete all the way across here. Then we'll do a full line of light gray concrete all the way to the front and a full line of light gray concrete on this side. Then there's a little vent back here and for that we'll take deep slate tile walls, two walls here. Then in front of it we'll do light gray concrete and we'll bring a full line of light gray concrete all the way to the front on both sides. Then we'll come back here behind these walls, put two bedrock in the middle, and above it start at the back and do a line of 11 bedrock blocks coming forward up the center. Then another 11 on top of it here. So it looks like this. Now on the side of it, two rows of five iron bars at the back and two rows of five iron bars at the front. In this middle gap, put two red terracotta. Then copy it on this side. So two red terracotta here and fill the rest of this on each side of it with two layers of iron bars. Then we're gonna come on top of where these red terracotta columns are, make a plus shape of mangrove slabs. Skip a block backwards, a plus shape back here. Skip one forward and a plus shape up here. Then put trap doors in the center for all the fans. Then we'll come in front of this on these corners. Right in front of here, we'll put a red terracotta on each side. Then a full line of light gray concrete forward to the front on each side. Above that, we'll fill all the rest of this three wide with red terracotta to fill in the roof. Then take a mangrove fence gate, put a sideways one here in the middle, and open one in front of it for the horn. Then take mangrove trap doors, and we're gonna get down and around, and in between all these fans on top, to fill in the top up here. And then come down and around this back end. Then we'll move up front on top of the cab. And in the middle on the front block of the cab, put a black candle, and on the back center block of the cab, put a lever. In the middle here, put a lantern. Now, we're gonna come up front with black carpet. And we're gonna do a T-shape on this front porch and cover the top of the nose in black carpet here. Then we'll come around behind the cab, a row of black carpet across here, come behind this, and black carpet all the way down to the back. Then a T-shape on this back porch, then start right here on this side and come all the way forward with black carpet. Then we'll do all our railings. So take a perch fence, come up front, right here, come up by four. Here we're gonna come up three, over one, and then a two by two right here. Repeat it on this side, so up four right here. Here, up three, over one, two by two up here. Then put a chain across this gap. Then we're gonna repeat that at the back, so come back here with birch fence. Right here, come up four. Here, come up three, over one, and a two by two right here. Then, same thing on this side. Here, come up four. Here, come up three, over one, 
2x2 right here and put a chain across the gap. Then switch to spruce fences, connect up right here and start bringing it all the way forward up this walkway. When we get right here, we're going to come up two and forward one. Then we'll do the other side, so still with your spruce fence, come back here, connect it up right here and start bringing it forward. When we get right here, we're going to come up one and then bring it forward again until it connects with the cab like that. Now we're coming up here on the side. We actually don't need this fence, that was a mistake. Right here, knock out three blocks and the corresponding three on the other side. Then skip one and knock out three again and the three on the other side. And then we're going to fill all these gaps with three black concrete each to represent the lettering since we can't fit it here. Then we'll take a polished black stone button, put one in the middle here, one in the middle here. Then under this black concrete, we're going to put two mangrove signs on the end, then one in the center under that button, and then two on this end. Then we repeat it on this side. So come under the black concrete, two mangrove signs here, one under the button, and two right here. Now we're going to come into a loom with a light gray banner and black die. Horizontal on top and this diagonal. New banner. A vertical on each side and a horizontal on the top and bottom. New banner and then a vertical in the center. Go to light gray die and put a light gray border around all three of these banners. And then we'll come place these. So we're going to come up on the side here. Right here, use your banners to put 7,001. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. So right here, use the banners to put 7,001. Then we're gonna come down and detail the back end here. So swing back here, and on either of these fences, we're gonna put a glow item frame with frog lights. Then on this top middle back here, another glow item frame with a frog light in it. Then move one block down on the side and do a dark oak sign with 7001. And then same thing on this side. Hit both of those with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then on the left side, we're gonna do two spruce fence gates down here and a mangrove one above the sign and open them all. Then we'll come up and detail the front end. So come up here and on either of these fences, we'll put a glow item frame each with a frog light. And then on this top middle above the window is a glow item frame with a frog light. On the side of it, a dark oak sign with 7001. Same thing on this side. And hit both of those with white dye and a glow ink sack each. Now we'll do the interior. So we're going to come on inside here. And in this corner, put an end portal. Then stack smooth sandstone slabs up to the window here and on this side. Behind this on the side, use your slabs to stack it up two blocks tall. Then two blocks tall on this side. Then two slabs on this back middle. And in front of it in the center, we're going to do two smooth sandstone stairs coming down for a staircase. Come down in here. And we're going to put a birch door right here. Then we'll come up here, put two blast furnaces in this back middle. And we'll do a stair here and here for seats. Then a slab here, a slab here. Up here, a glow item frame with an end crystal and a lever on the right. And now the interior is complete and we can come back outside here. Now we're going to come back into a loom with a black banner and light gray dye. Put a border on it, then make the left half light gray. Then go to regular gray dye and make the bottom half gray. And this is to make this front door look better. So we're going to come up here and crouch and hang this banner over this door. Just like that. And there we have it, folks. 
we've completed our EMD SD70M demonstrator locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.